Hey all, today I'll explain how to use the TPK217 curve power supply. Firstly, this online power supply of ours, its output voltage is displayed at this location, and our set voltage is displayed here. There are four channels, and when I press the corresponding channel, the color of the corresponding channel will turn green. The output voltage will also be displayed here. Plug in phone, press power button, wait for electricity. In right hail power supply, three spots to show current. First is the mechanical watch head, then the digital current, and then the curve current. Three ways to display. When designing our power supply, there is a set current here. So different channels can be set to different currents. To prevent overcharging and burning out our phones, it adds the wrong voltage. This spot is where the charging is displayed. The top is voltage and the bottom is charging current. This is only a charging station. After repairing the phone, let's test if it charges properly. Is fast charging enabled? We'll plug it in here. See this? While in regular standby mode, pressing these buttons gently does not elicit any response. Hold for two seconds then switch to corresponding output voltage to prevent accidental contact causing incorrect voltage output. When you press these buttons gently, it will produce a low sound, but it will not activate any functions. In the future, we will enhance these buttons to incorporate screen recording, playback, and slow motion capabilities. You can create the curve to be displayed multiple times. This key is simply a convenient switch for the mechanical watch head. Right now, this light costs 50,000, 0 to 50,000, so press the blue light status of quick switch again. Display current is 0 to 500 MA. Details of current are visible. This is the flash drive port. Over 91% of models support fast charging. Three ports and two ports are in parallel. Measurement output terminal for voltage jumps and waveforms. Just plug in a probe for the oscilloscope and it's good to go. This is a function button. Press it to configure the settings and make necessary adjustments. Come on in, press OK, then make some adjustments to the parameters. Click on Save. Press this button to exit. After you have inserted the oscilloscope probe into this port, when measuring voltage or waveform of a point on the phone motherboard, You'll find digital voltage here, if it's a waveform, so it will be displayed on the screen. This is its corresponding range. This range will automatically increase. You have the ability to measure a range from 0 to 30 volts. This represents the range of current output at this particular end. Based on size, range will switch automatically. Keep curve in middle for optimal display on screen.